This is Bitcoin This Week, a weekly roundup of the latest Bitcoin news. And today's new CEO of Twitter continues to support Bitcoin. Florida tax collector to accept Bitcoins for payment. Bitcoin mining consumes 0.5% of the world's electric power. Colorado proposes to accept Bitcoins for campaigns. According to local news, political candidates in Colorado could start accepting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as donations for their political campaigns. The Secretary of State in Colorado, Wayne Williams, made the proposal last week. The US Federal Election Commission has already approved Bitcoin as in-kind donations for campaigns, provided the donated funds are transferred to their official accounts within 10 days. As a result of this proposal, crypto donations would be treated in the same way as cash with the value being determined at the time of donation. The proposal seems to be causing some issues already, with the Deputy Secretary of State in Colorado, Suzanne Steyert, commenting that this could become an accounting issue. If this is approved, though, Colorado would join New Hampshire, which became the first state to approve such donations. According to several reports, Bitcoin mining consumes up to 0.5% of the world's electric power. Last July, various reports stated that the cryptocurrency mining industry was consuming more electric power than a small country. Now, this would only increase by the end of 2018, making them extremely expensive and therefore no longer profitable. According to a study made by Alex de Vries, Bitcoin mining consumes up to 2.55 gigawatts, which is slightly less than Ireland. He stated that this will triple by the end of 2018, reaching a high of 7.67 gigawatts, which is the equivalent of that consumed by Austria. The conclusion of the study led to the 0.5% energy consumption figure for Bitcoin mining and the effect which it's having on the world. This is one of the hotly debated topics in the cryptocurrency mining industry, which is why it desperately needs more projects to become eco-friendly and sustainable. A tax collector in Florida's Seminole County has announced its plan to begin accepting Bitcoin for payments of property tax, driver's permit fees, license tax and more. According to Joel Greenberg, his office will begin accepting payments in both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash through its partner BitPay. This office will become the first US government agency to implement such a measure and could mark the beginning of an acceptance of the crypto industry. Greenberg has been quoted as saying Bitcoin was the future and although it's still quite volatile, it's becoming more common in society. He added that this payment method seeks to reduce fraud, be more efficient and transparent and take the US government services into a new era. The CEO of Twitter and Square Inc, Jack Dorsey, has once again spoken of his stand with cryptocurrencies during Consensus 2018. In his speech, he stated that cryptocurrencies will become the payment methods of the future. He spoke of this technology representing a radical change in the world with an incredible outcome, but noted the importance of educating regulators and the SEC to avoid further restrictions to cryptocurrency. Dorsey has shown his confidence in admitting how Bitcoin will become the digital coin of the future, speaking of how it will rule internet payments. Let's not forget, though, that Twitter did ban crypto-related ads from its platform, so the comments from the businessman do sound slightly hypocritical, although maybe his plans are to reintegrate such ads once the SEC clears the way. Bitcoin had quite a week. After opening above the $8,700 mark, it experienced quite a fall on Monday, dropping to $8,400. Although it recovered throughout the next day, reaching the $8,800 mark, it fell further, reaching its lowest point of below $8,000 on Friday. Through the week, there were small signs of recovery, slowly but surely climbing back up to eventually close the week at above $8,500. Apparently, Consensus 2018 didn't have the impact the community was expecting. While in other years it had shown incredible growth, this year it appeared as if it almost didn't matter. Now let's not forget that we may be on the cusp of a major correction in the market, so remember to invest wisely. I'm Tom Bell and that was Bitcoin this week. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Until next time.